to his teammate of Viper Eyes. He's going to keep it tight. Three minutes left to go in the session. Are straddling to the line. Still only good enough for fourth. So only two tenths back as Kendricks goes fifth quickest for Alpine. So he'll slide in right behind our straddling and then have a big rear lock moment uh, and end up spinning off a little bit. And they'll try and, I think, get out of the way. But everybody piling out of the pit lane. Stratting does not think he'll get another lap in or improve. So we'll have to see what happens there. But Kendrick's currently fifth. And everybody, again, piling out of the pits. You got Chimpimp. You got Jonah getting ready to start a lap. You got Oreo on in that lap. You got uh, Alcohol Kuski just a little bit down through that first sector, uh, but I believe is trying to recharge that battery a little bit. So we'll see what he crosses at that sector two marker uh, as our provisional pulse hitter does jump out of the pit lane. Now Kukuski up a tenth and a half, so certainly enough to gain a couple of positions. We'll see if he can get a really clean exit. Uh, of course, going to be wanted, wanting to dump overtake here out of the final corner. Here he comes to the line. Of course, we'll have time for another lap. DRS wide open, here he comes, and that's a 108.9, so we actually lost a lot of time in that final sector, so potentially deploying ERS a little bit sooner. Husky Gaming, meanwhile, in the infield grass, uh, potentially getting Albon, but potentially also just trying to stay out of the way. Bartu's invalidated. Uh, Dechal is just about to start a lap. Kendricks uh, has invalidated. I don't believe he'll get another lap in. Breakfast King, meanwhile, coming up to that sector one marker, and he's slightly up. Uh, on his first lap time, but not a very significant amount. So we'll have to see if uh, he see how much time there is to gain in the final two sectors. And of course, there is time for one more push if he uh, elects to save ERS at some point during the lap and just try to be the one of the last ones to get that lap in. Uh, only, uh, I believe, two drivers still in the pits, and that's Brian and Stratting, who does not think he'll get another lap in. Eric just getting a lap started. Breakfast King coming up to that Sector 2 marker. Where does his lap time clock in Re relative? He's up a tenth and a half. So it's going to be close for Breakfast King to have a chance to set that bar. So he's going to push it. Can he pick up th those last eight thousandths of a second out of these final corners to try and get Viperized? DRS wide open, uh, trying to keep it tight. T Breakfast King to the line. Only good enough for P2. He will slot ahead of Eric but will not usurp Viperize. Eric, meanwhile, down a tenth and a half through Sector 1. He's not going to have uh, a chance to get an extra lap in. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on him. Viperize, meanwhile, uh, going slowly through that middle first sector. So he made a mistake early on in that lap. So he will not improve. Eric is round, so he will not improve either. Can anybody jump up the order? Bartu goes up to P6. Uh, Dechal, he's not on a push. He'll finish fifth. Kendricks is seventh. Husky Gaming uh, is currently eighth. Let's see what he's at as we cross the Sector 2 marker. Three, two, one, and qualifying's over. Husky Gaming up a tenth and change. He's going to run wide, though, and he's going to lose that lap time. That would have put him uh, up towards Kendricks in P7. Calverly in the wall. Alcoholic Husky coming up to Sector 2. He's got three tenths in the bag. Can he manage to convert where Husky Gaming could not? Uh, potentially looking at a 7th place start or more, depending on just how much energy is left in the tank. Out of the final corner, uh, the Red Bull driver currently sits P10. He comes the line. He will jump up into P6. Can anybody fight him? Bartu up over into the wall, so he will not improve. Calverly uh, is on a recharge lap. Oreo is done. Formula Jonas invalidated. Guardian Knight may be one of the only ones who can jump up the order now. He's got three tenths, but is recharging. He's going to keep it tight to the line. Six, seven, eight. The Red Bull teammate of Speedy Gunner is 14th. Guardian Knight will improve and will start 12th, and I believe that will do it. So it's Viperize taking the first pole position here in Group 2, and it'll be followed by Breakfast King and Eric, all less than half a tenth between them. So one, two, three, four, and five red lights. And we're underway here in Brazil. Seemingly a good getaway from Viperize, who's going to immediately move to that left-hand side. Block off that move. Big crash behind already. That's Emray already in the wall. But as we make our way through turn one, it's still Viperize from Breakfast King. Eric comes in third, straddling in fourth, as it seems to be a rather clean getaway for everybody, except for that Williams, who had a big incident as we and as we go down in turn one. Alcolacoski looking to make a move around the outside of our straddling. The Dutchman going at it. But Stratting able to defend. Yellow flag back in sector two. That's one of the for one of the Ferraris. I believe that's for Guardian Knight going wide. But uh, as Bartu uh, is going to uh, 
and Bartu, I think, tried to make a move on Husky there. Potentially some contact as Husky, uh, as Alcoholic Husky, dropping down the order. So I think that one could be uh, a review for the stewards. Um, unless that was... Uh, I'm not sure entirely if that was contact. That'll be something that I will have to keep an eye on. Uh, but as we come across lap one, it's seven tenths up at the front between Viper Eyes back to Breakfast King. DRS, though, is activated now on lap number one, so Viper Eyes still has a lot of work to do if he wants to try and make a, uh, start to make a breakaway from Breakfast King and Eric. But those front three starting to make a, a getaway from our stratting already as he's being hounded now uh, by the soft tire runners. That's Chimp Pimp uh, gone deep at turn one. That's So that's what those yellow flags are for. Bartu, meanwhile, able to uh, slide past our stratting and move up in the P4 on those soft compound tires. The Ferrari is looking to stick it around the outside. Kendrick still able to defend. Uh, Husky and Speedy Gunner battling side by side. The Red Bulls going at it as uh, Husky tries to make uh, a bit of a comeback despite sliding wide up at, I believe that was turn number six on lap one. And it was, really is now a, a three car breakaway here at the front. Bar two, I think it was a little bit of a mistake now having to defend a little bit from our striding behind him as those mediums start to come up the temperature. It's going to be very tight here, but already three and a half second yet between Bartu and P4 and Stratting and P5. He's Stratting not going to hold on a contact there between the Williams and the Aston Martin. So the Williams getting a little dangerous there. He is going to try to tuck in behind the Aston Martin, potentially try to recap some DRS, though a little bit of lag there uh, is going to lead to uh, some desync there, but seemingly all okay. But this uh, battle up at the front. Could that allow Ditch All uh, and uh, Alcoholic Husky to make a, uh, a run back? Formula Jonah up in the points. He's in 10th. Stratting and Bartu side by side as they make their way through turn four. And Bartu force wide. He uh, rejoins side by side with Kendricks. He's going to push up the hill and is uh, potentially looking at a move to the inside of Stratting for a second. Kendricks put off line. Here comes Calvary down the inside. He's going to look down the inside. And Kendricks gets tagged in that incident. So he'll drop down into P9 uh, and is now having to battle with Formula Jonah, who may get another spot. Kendricks, though, able to hold on. So we'll see how that goes. Dichal uh, getting across ahead of Bartu. That is a that is a, uh, a V carb in the wall. That was Dichal. He's got no front wing. What happened there? I don't know if that was an incident with Calvary or Bartu because uh, I don't think it was with Husky because he seemed to be a little bit further behind. But yeah, this you know is you know very tight, and I think. Uh, a couple of these drivers not very happy with how this Williams uh, is driving. I'm not sure what happened there, but Dachal, no front wing, and that's going to lose him loads of time, but will promote uh, a bunch of people up a uh, position. Meanwhile, we'll jump back to that battle for P5 as here they come. Tenth and a half between Bartu and Calverly. As they run down into turn one, it will be the Williams with the advantage, but if the Ferrari does have the inside braking into turn one, is going to pull slightly ahead of that Williams as they make their way down the hill. Uh, but can he hold on to it as we make our way in the run down to turn four? The rear wing once again open on that Williams. The Ferrari half defends the inside, but Bark 2 wants to go that way. He'll get ahead. He is going to uh, push the Ferrari wide, and I think went off track there to potentially complete that overtake. So we'll see if that goes to review. But uh, Alcohol Kuski also pulling up to the fight. Now six seconds, the gap back to our stratting uh, as Rasta Ramo gets a 10 second penalty there for corner cutting. So that's probably the end of this this race as Viperize has disconnected from the session. So if you'll excuse me for a second, I will do what I can to get him back. As we do have Viperize back, so only, he is going to lose about two seconds to those cars in front, but we'll see how much they continue to battle. And could our stratting potentially come into play here, uh, being now only four seconds back? Alcohol Husky looking to go around the outside of Bar 2 in, their, in Sector 3 there, not able to get anything done. Uh, thought we potentially had uh, an incident behind, but turns out we did not. 
course, up here at the front, Breakfast King continuing to keep Eric honest, but he has led for a whole lap now. Speedy able to get past Bartu, uh, who's actually going to make a, a push to stay ahead. Formula Jonah there in the background. They're going to be side by side into turn number four. Speedy going to be a little bit up on the curb, a little bit of ghosting there as well. Uh, so will Bartu hold on to that position as, as it stands? So uh, still ghosted is Speedy Gunner, and a big twitch there from the Williams, so he'll have to slot in back behind Speedy Gunner, who jumps up into P6. Now it's Eric, Too Fast For You, and Breakfast King going at it up here at the front uh, as we come to the end of lap number 10. Uh, Bartu in the grass, so for, uh, Formula Jonah, Oreo Hafrican gaining a couple of places. Here comes Husky Gaming and Brian Vanderberg uh, as a bit of an unsafe rejoin there from the Williams, but he'll drop all the way to 11th. We'll see if he dives into the pit lane here. He will dive in to get rid of those soft compound tires. Will he get that car stopped? He will not. That's another 10-second time penalty for Bartu. And so now he and Husky uh, both with that dishonor, and then Rastamol as well with one. I could see Kendricks doing potentially a two-stop from here on uh, all those hards. Brian Vandenberg and Husky Gaming side-by-side. Side. Husky Gaming actually with a bit of a mistake there. Um, but, so is that another issue of tires getting potentially really warm? Uh, if you look down at that, you know, I could, could catch a glimpse of it in that wheel. 232 degrees Fahrenheit are those rear tires. Uh, as Emray out of the session, that will bring out the safety car. that Aston Martin safety car now fully into the pit lane. So we are just about ready to go racing. So the question now, when does Eric choose to take off? As we now are fully ready, coming up to that safety car line, when will he choose to go? Still holding off, still holding off, and now we take off. And here we go, back to racing here on lap number 16. Good jump for Viperize behind. He's going to immediately, Viperize immediately looking to make that move on Breakfast King. That was a bold move there from the Aston Martin. The McLaren the, thinking about putting it back around the outside, but just not having the space and having to go off track. Here comes R Stratting down the inside. So couldn't both Aston Martins be heading past the McLaren? Uh, Breakfast King able to defend, though, as they make their way into turn number two. Viperize now back up into P2, but Eric already starting to make a bit of a breakaway. That's R Stratting wide there in the background. He's losing a number of positions. Oreo up to fourth. Formula Joan up to fifth. Somebody's gone round. Stratting and Calvary, and I believe that's uh, the Red Bull of Speedy Gunner all caught up in an incident. And then a uh, big lock up there from Husky. There's a rear lock there that causes that Red Bull to go around. So that's bad to worse for him as well as he tried to just stay out of the way. But that does leave now Eric and Viperize. It's now a McLaren 3-4 of Breakfast King and Oreo Hafrican. The Kick Sabers have uh, come out of a little bit of left field here. Uh, and, you know, those green machines... Uh, have jumped up. Oreo Hafrican will jump up into third ahead of Breakfast King, so potentially a little bit of team strategy there as DRS enabled a second and a half the gap from Viperize to Oreo. Uh, DRS open for Formula Jonah. He's pushing hard to try to catch Breakfast King and Oreo here on lap number 18. Takes a peek to that inside. Chooses not to go, though, and of course his teammate of Husky Gaming is right there as well. Good exit, though, out of the Senna S's. Here he comes down the street down the street in the run down to turn four up in the front Viperize looks to the outside of Eric too fast and he retakes the lead here at the halfway mark uh, of this race Jonah meanwhile chooses to hold position and now will Viperize have the chance to run away as we've lost him again no as just as he retakes the lead Viperize immediately drops off so that weather playing a factor for Viperize of course we'll try to get him back in again but that's a Real shame after a really nice move around the outside. So we'll see if uh, that was just an internet or lost power. Um, so hopefully that's not a continued issue and you can leave and come back. Formula Jonah, three second time penalty. Kendricks out of the race and we have another safety car. So an incident there for Kendricks. I think contact in the run to turn four leading to an issue that leads uh, Kendricks to be out of the race. Alcala Kuski with another three-second time penalty, I think just as he was trying to slow the car down. But the safety car now in the pit, so now it's up to Oreo. 
to choose when he opts to go. Let's see when the American chooses to take off. And we are back underway and racing here in Brazil. Start a lap number 24, and it's Oreo leading the field across the line. Viperize once again looking at inside, hard breaking into turn one. And once again, Viperize able to get the move done on the safety car restart to slide back up into P2. He is going to have to take uh, a little bit of an off track uh, action there as he got, seemed to get a little bit understeer. As is he struggling with tech issues, maybe? as we just saw him into the grass. So I don't know if that's just tech issues or if it's just cold tires there and not getting the bite that he thinks or just checking stuff. Uh, but hopefully, uh, Viper Eyes is still okay. Yellow flag, that's Detchall out of the session and that's gonna bring out another safety car. That's down at turn four. Uh, and once again, back to the safety car we go. So Oreo, once again, looking to keep that pace rather hot. Viperize right up on his gearbox, though, is taking that peak to the outside immediately. We've seen Viperize make two moves down the inside into turn one. So when does Oreo opt to take off? Two by two already. And when will Oreo go? Here we go, racing once again here on map number 26. And it's a really good jump for Viperize. And we have, and we have a crash even before the safety car is done. But it is going to be Viperize and Oreo side by side. Uh, I think a little bit of contact there. I have no idea what happened there, but that was disappointing. Um, it does not look like we'll get another safety car, but I don't know what that was. Um, apart from a shame that we could not even get back going. I still have the safety car is showing, though it seems that we are fully back racing now. It seems that uh, it is just a caution. Uh, and that was, we were just waiting for Calvary's uh, AI to get back racing. Our stratting receives a time penalty for multiple warnings. Um, but yeah, I don't know what that was. Uh, Brian Vanderberg making, trying to make a jump up the order. He's up into six now. Oreo down to eight uh, after potentially tagging, get, having, getting tagged by Viper Eyes. More contact there is that stratting getting tagged. And there was some lag there as well. are stratting out of the race so that's another retirement but now viperize starting to make a bit of a getaway but of course uh, eric going to be charging on those fresher mediums as will breakfast king um but yeah I, i'm you know a little bit speechless uh, after that after that safety car restart i'm going to be if I'm being completely honest, so let's see if Viperize can hold on. It seems to be four cars in, and now Eric getting past from the Jonah. Here comes Breakfast King as well, uh, and so it's the Alpine and McLaren making that jump up the places. Uh, and now it's, you know, less than a second in between it for four cars with seven laps to go. Uh, but yeah, here comes Eric, of course, uh, down the inside of Viperize. Viperize still there, a little bit of contact, though. Uh, and Viperize and Eric still side by side as they make their way through Sector 2. Is Eric going to be able to hold on to this? Sweeps around the outside. Uh, some good respect shown there. Uh, as Brian Vanderberg has left the session, so that's a DNF from him as well. So it looks to be Viperize and Breakfast King. A little bit of contact there. Viperize now holding the inside. There goes Breakfast King. Eric as well, a little bit boxed in. He's going to jerk to the inside. Oreo now going to defend. Or sorry, and uh, the Alpine hard on the brakes, Viperize into the back of him, so potentially damage uh, on that Aston Martin as Viperize receives a three-second time penalty for track limits warnings. Stuff that seemed too heinous, it seemed to be, you know, largely more uh, tight racing as Eric down the inside of Breakfast King, down through turn number five, a little bit of contact there, but I think that's going to happen uh, through that section as the Alpine moves up into the lead with five to go. But four tenths the gap. So it seems to be just the McLaren and the Alpine in it now as uh, Breakfast King looking to not hesitate at all. Of course, we'll swap to the penalty uh, marker. But yeah, it does seem to be just Eric and Breakfast King now. Here comes Bartu uh, into the party now as well. Formula Jonah looking down the inside. Uh, I think made a little bit of contact with the McLaren and then a little bit of a lockup from the Alpine just trying to hold on to it. Uh, Bartu has shown up as well. Formula Jonah, I think, had to try and back out of that.
Of course, as they make their way down the pit lane, it's still Breakfast King with that lead. He's got Viperize down his inside. Now Viperize looking to make that move stick in the inside into the Senna S's. And, but it's going to be Breakfast King getting a better exit. Eric right on his rear now. Of course, Bartu is there as well. Bartu, the Williams looking down the inside of everybody. Viperize going down the outside two by two into turn four. Contact there between Viperize, the Alpine, into the back of Eric. I think just trying to get out of the way. Viperize is in the wall. But yeah, that was, you know, four cars within two tenths of each other. Uh, that's just not going to stick. And Viperize drops right down the order. As we start the final lap of this race, so we'll have to see how much gamesmanship we see here on this final lap. So that gap's got to be a couple of tenths. Bit of a block there from Bar 2 as they make their way into turn number one. Uh, the McLaren, though, looking around the outside. Does he want to he think he wants to try and hold that position this entire lap? Try and give Bar 2 as much dirty air as he possibly can, but it's the Williams with DRS. Bar 2, though, looking down the inside as they run into turn four, so it's the Williams with the advantage now. So it'll be a question of does Breakfast King have enough time to make that move stick in response? Of course, he's right on the back of that Williams as they make their way up the hill here. Bit of ghosting there from Bar 2. So will Breakfast King try to take advantage of it? They are very much, you know, they are inside of each other as of right now. So can Bartu pull away? He will, but the McLaren going to be right on the gearbox. Does, will he have enough time to make that move? Out of the final corner we come. So it's going to be a run to the line. It's going to be a drag race here. But, of course, Breakfast King going to have the advantage. Tenth and a half is the gap. DRS now open for the McLaren. He's Can he get side by side and pass around the outside to the line? It's going to be Breakfast King taking the win here in Brazil by three hundredths of a second. Bar two third, Eric, Formula Jonah, Speedy will be next, followed by Viper Eyes. Husky Gaming will then come in seventh. Oreo will be and should be ninth, depending on if Guardian can finish well enough, and he will, followed by Chimpimp and Rastamol rounding out your top ten. So certainly uh, a chaotic race, um, but should we should hopefully uh, see some cleaner racing next time out in Portugal next weekend.